boys and girls, it's lovely to see you again. And we're back here for our Explore video. And I've got my helper. Hello, boys and girls. Tommy's here again to help me with the story. Yay. Yay. Now, this week, I was having a little think about birthdays. Birthdays? I wonder if it's anyone's birthday this week. It's mine. It's my birthday. It's my birthday this week. No, it's not. Not, not this week. I wonder if it's anyone's oh. birthday. I was getting some things together that help us remember about birthdays. Um, we've got some birthday hats, some balloons, and a present. I present! Yes, that's exciting, isn't it? Now, yeah. for a birthday, we have to blow up balloons and decorate the room. So I'm going to blow up a few balloons just now. Oh! Hey. Oh, let me try again. I'll take a pink one this time. Let's see if I can blow this one up nice and big. later on. Well, actually, that reminds me a little bit about last week's story, because we were learning about the church and the apostles telling the good news about Jesus. And even though some people tried to stop them, it still spread everywhere. They told lots of people the good news about Jesus and the Holy Spirit helped them to tell it to lots of people. So that's a little bit like our balloons going everywhere. Well, we're going to have a little game just now. And we're going to play true or false. I've got three token facts and you're going to see if you can tell if they're true or if they're false. I hope you're going to get them all right, Tommy. I hope so. The first one, there is only one kind of token. Is it true or is it false? Tommy thinks it's true, but it's false. There's 40 kinds of toucans. What? The second one, toucans prefer to hop rather than fly. Is it true or is it false? It's true. Yay! Well done, you got that one right. The third one, toucans have a beautiful singing voice. La, is la, it true la, or is it la. false? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Tommy. It's false. What? They squawk rather than sing. Okay, so that was our token fact. Now, I wonder if you can remember about the story from last week that Lorna told us about the apostles in the early church. Tommy's going to help me. He's got some facts about last week, and we're going to see if you can tell whether they're true or false. The first one... Peter and the apostles were put in prison. Is it true or is it false? Can you remember, Tommy? Uh, uh, no. It's true. Oh. Well done if you got that one right. Let's see what the next one is. An angel let them out of prison. Is it true or is it false, Tommy? What do you think? It's true. An oh. angel let them out of prison. And the third one, the apostles stopped telling people the good news about Jesus. Is it true or is it false? What do you think, Tommy? Uh, not false? No, it, yes, it's false. <laughs> the apostles didn't stop telling people about Jesus. They kept on going even though it was difficult. So we're going to carry on that story today about the apostles and the early church. And today we're going to think about a man called Stephen. Now, Stephen was chosen as someone who was full of wisdom and full of grace to help look after the people in the church. Oh. Stephen also performed great miracles and signs and wonders among the people. Wow! And he was a great disciple of Jesus. He always told the truth and he tried to tell people the truth about the good news of Jesus. But some elders and teachers of the law wanted to stop him. 
They didn't like the truth about Jesus, so they told lies about Stephen. And Stephen still told them the truth about Jesus and how he was the son of God. Well, the religious leaders got very angry. And do you know, they picked up stones, big stones, and they threw them at Stephen. What? And they got an angry crowd of people all stirred up and they threw these horrible stones at Stephen. Poor Stephen! But Stephen looked up and he saw the truth of Jesus. He saw Jesus in a vision. And then he prayed that God would forgive the people that threw stones at him. Wow! Sadly, there were so many stones that Stephen died still praying to Jesus. The leaders and the teachers of law could not stop God from spreading the good news. And even though Stephen died and things were difficult for the apostles, they still knew that God was with them, always. And God wanted them to keep spreading the good news and keep spreading the truth and not tell lies. So the church continued to grow as they told people the good news of Jesus. That was our story from today. What an amazing story! Thank you very much for listening to the story and thank you, Tommy, for helping. No problem! Oh, what's that you've got there, Tommy? This is all my worldly possessions! Oh, and why have you got these? Because I'm going on a journey! Ah, you're going on a journey. Well, that's great because the song we're going to sing is... It's an adventure following Jesus. Wow, that's great. But I think you might have to put them down in order to sing. Are you going to help us sing today? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, so let's put them down there and we'll sing together. It's an adventure following Jesus. a few things from that story and one of the things is when the people threw stones at Stephen he didn't throw stones back but he asked God to forgive them and when people do bad things to us it's easy for us to think that we want to do something bad back to them but we need to remember that God wants us to forgive and love people just like Stephen did. Stephen showed the people kindness, truth, love and forgiveness. Now I was thinking about stones. We've got a lot of stones in the garden. In I like garden. stones. Oh, do you like stones? I too, like Tom? stones. Yeah. We've got a lot of stones in the garden and sometimes they're a bit of a nuisance, but sometimes you find stones that are really pretty. Hmm. So I've got one or two today to show you. I found this lovely pink one. I like that one. That's a pretty one, isn't it? That's it's stone. got shiny bits in it. It has. And I also find this other one. That one looks a bit more dull. It does, doesn't it? But I thought maybe what we could do is we could paint the stone. 
some pretty colours. So you can maybe get yourself some paint and a paint brush and see if you can paint some nice colours in the stone to make it all pretty. And maybe you could have a think about the words that we're talking about. We've got forgiveness, love, love, truth, truth, and kindness. And kindness. Yeah. And maybe you could pick one of those words and stick it on the bottom of your stone just to remind you about the story of Stephen and how God wants us to treat other people. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Now, I think we're just going to finish with a little prayer. So let's close our eyes and pray to Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today's story. We thank you for Stephen and for the good things that he showed and that he told about you. We thank you that he always told the truth and he wanted to spread the good news about Jesus' love for everyone. And we just pray that you'd be with us this week, that you would help us to be kind, to be forgiving and to be loving and help us to learn more about you, Lord Jesus. We just thank you for being with us today and we ask that you would bless us in everything we do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Oh, I just remembered whose birthday it is on Friday. It's Katrina's birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> Katrina! I hope you have a great day on Friday, Katrina. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bye. Bye.